So thank you for coming in so late for uh, such a short notice interview. Mm. Seems your credentials are wonderful, just just wonderful, mm. and a lot of fast food experience. Mm. Uh, so why do you want to be a caterer? Well, I love the food industry, but but fast food is just killing me slowly. I want to do something different. I. I I want to be in control and feel important, and I just thought that this would be a good opportunity. Yes. Um, hold on, I've got to take this. Yes? Yes, no problem. Thank you. Well, you're in luck. I've got a big job, a big event for tomorrow. I've got to prep for tonight. So we've got to set up tables, trays, things of that nature. So if you, if you want to come along with me, you could come and see what I do firsthand. Oh, perfect. I would love to. So does this mean I have the job? Yeah, something like that. Let's go. Oh, do we need to take along any supplies? Uh, that, they're mostly out in the car. Uh, so why don't you take this? And I'll meet you out in the parking lot. Apologies. New guests do excite me. No problem. We uh, received an order and here we are. Yes, indeed. Here you are. Please, come inside. And you are? Andrea, it's nice to meet you. Andrea, how common. Where do you find these? No matter. Andrea, please, go to the back and my assistant for Dan shall show you the next assignment for your job. So that's everything. I get just... Talk about my payment and I'll be out of here. No. Ethan Dinas, I must tell you, you seem in such a hurry to go, yet you've been invited. You've been invited as a guest by the princess of our house, our maiden of beauty, to sit at her table and join for a feast. If you could just tell her I was in a big hurry, and I, uh, I'll talk to her the next she time. She insists. Come. Hello, Ethan. Hello, Eileen. You've been an asset to us this past year. You've been punctual efficient, inconspicuous, everything we could ask for. But you've been lacking lately, and lacking is bad for business. Do you remember our agreement, Ethan? Yes. We would spare you if and only if you kept us supplied. Your work thus far has been stellar, above and beyond, except for last month. Last month was disappointing, quite disappointing indeed. Your body count quota was exceptionally low. Why is this, Ethan? You do remember what I told you would happen if you didn't meet our expectations. Yes. 
If that were the case, then your work performance wouldn't be so low. Allow me to be presumptuous and say, I don't think you understood me fully the first time we met. You are to do exactly and everything we tell you to do, or else I will be obligated to kill you, the two. <laughs> that, that is your grand plan. Come any closer to me and I'll stick you in the heart. I'm tired of being your errand boy. Never again. I'm out. You can't escape. You can't run away from us. You can't attempt to hide in the shadows that we reside in. We'll find you. We'll feast on you. I did it. I'm alive. I survived. <laughs>